All right, this is a uh, John Deere 9420. Uh, it's a couple years old. Uh, this is our four-wheel drive tractor. Uh, it is an articulating tractor, meaning that it turns in the middle. And this is just a short demonstration of uh, how the tractor operates. Um, obviously, right here we have the steering wheel. Right now, it's uh, it's being controlled by the computer, which is just located right over there, and uh, the auto steer system is taking control. What I've got down here is, uh, this is my gear shifter. If you look, uh, this is in the forward gear position. And to go up and down gears, of which there are 18 gears and forward, I just have to click it up once. And then it'll shift up, click it down, it'll shift down. We can do this while there's an implement in the ground. Um, it's, uh, it's very nice. To go into the reverse, we just uh, take it out of forward, put it into reverse there, and the same process. Down here is park or neutral. Is uh, Neutral is in this sliding location here. This is the throttle that we have here. It controls the engine and speed RPM. Now, tractors all have hydraulics, or most tractors, new tractors anyway, have hydraulics. This is the hydraulic system. Uh, we have an SCV is what it's called, uh, SCV number one. Um, it's operated right here. We pull, pull it back to uh, raise the implement, push it down to lower it, and that's all the same there. Uh, this, uh, holy cow. As I was doing that, the tractor lugged real hard. As uh, this is the implement uh, management system, I can assign multiple functions uh, to this switch, number one and number two, through a process. Um, over here we have the auto steer switch. That's what I press to turn the steering wheel on and make the steering wheel start working. Over on the right here we have a couple of additional controls. These are my uh, warning indicator, indicator lights. Um, we just have a bunch of informational buttons right down here. You know, obviously we've got our climate controls and our lights and our hazards, windshield wipers. Um, this this uh, area down here controls the speed and flow of the hydraulic system. Uh, we only have uh, four hydraulics on this tractor. It's kind of rare to find five, uh, but it does uh, support up to five on this tractor. One spectacular thing about this uh, this tractor's transmission, I'm going to go ahead and push in the clutch real slowly, and else we'll stop. We're pulling a heavy load, so I uh, this is a seven uh, shank ripper, and it really, really pulls hard. Now, what I'm going to do? Notice we've still got the ripper in the ground. I'm not going to press the clutch at all. I'm not going to press the clutch. I'm just going to put it in gear without using the clutch or anything. There we go. See how nice that thing takes off? These new tractors are spectacular in their transmissions. They just really, really work well. Even while having an implement in the ground, we can still start and stop without thumping around and sound like we're breaking things. This has been Brad uh, with Coon Creek Farms in Sullivan, Illinois.